Hello everyone, Gulhan Lukes here. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Dying Light, uh, not Dying Light, uh, Seven Days to Die. Uh, this is a game that me and some of my friends have played a lot in the past, and they've just recently had a massive update where they've changed a bunch of the mechanics of the game, introduced new armor systems and weapons and all of that. And so I thought that since I was going to be playing it a lot with uh, my friends in a little bit, uh, that I'd try and make a little series out of it, see how it does, and uh, see what you guys think of it. Uh, so essentially, this is a zombie survival game. Uh, there's a trader over there uh, where we can do missions and stuff, and uh, there's a tier system with primitive weapons, and you can find better weapons. Uh, when you're doing missions and just in loot and buildings and stuff, and it's a it's a really fun game. Um, and so right now I am doing a buried supplies mission, where I need to dig underground and look for some kind of buried supplies under here. Uh, it's an intro mission, so this circle is quite small. Um, but normally the circle would be a lot bigger than this and it would take a little bit more time. Um, and the reason that this game is called Seven Days to Die is because every seven days there's a massive horde of zombies that will appear at night, uh, the night sky will turn red, and uh, you will get chased. They will hunt you down. Um, and so because of that, you need to build a base. Um, if you see right over there, this is uh, my friend's base that he started to make. Mine is way over there in the distance at the top of that hill. I've just started making it. Um, and we are on day 11 right now. My uh, my friend's been playing a lot of this <laughs> on his own um, because I've been playing a decent amount of Battlefront, which uh, if you've seen my channel before, I'm sure that you've seen some of my videos. Uh, I play a lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's normally what I upload. Um, but I'm going to be trying this game out a bit. Oh, so we're getting closer to it. And yes, I'm also trying out commentary, uh, which I normally never do, uh, because I do not like the sound of my own voice. Uh, however, <laughs> I figured that it might be fun to try it out. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I can totally do it without commentary as well. Uh, it's really up to you guys. Uh, but I will not be able to do commentary when I'm playing with my friends. So this won't be a very, very consistent series. Um, I'll just hop on when I have some free time, when I'm playing alone, and just record uh, me playing a little bit, maybe doing a mission, or working on a base, or maybe doing even a horde night. Um, yeah. Let's see. Looking very close. Okay, so it must be like right here, I guess. Oh my gosh. Alright, it's right here. Ah, there it is. Alright, I need to be ready because as soon as I get that treasure, a bunch of zombies are going to appear. Um, so I'm placing these building blocks down and I'm going to jump on top of them. Because then, like this, like this, pick that up, and I have a spear that I can use. And I've been investing all of my skill points, because there is a skill progression. The perception, strength, fortitude, agility, all of that. Um, I've been investing a lot of mine into perception uh, and into spear master, so I do more damage with spears. And so yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of depth to this game. It's really cool. Um, here we go. And then... Zombies should spawn. Maybe they won't, actually, because this is an intro very treasure. But just in case... Okay, yep. Wait, is this it? Oh, that isn't bad at all. I'm used to, like, ten spawning at once. This is... Really not bad at all. Okay, this guy is really weak as well. I guess this is why it's an intro mission, isn't it? Yeah, alright. <laughs> that was really easy. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the trader and turn this in. 
and he should give me a reward. I should get some XP and uh, I believe they're called dukes, which are like tokens, uh, which you can trade in for stuff that he has. Yes, this, this guy's name is Trader Wrecked. Uh, he actually used to be in a different location on the map. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's not a very nice guy. I'll shake your hand, but I bet you got dysentery the way you smell. Yeah, he's really not a nice guy. Do not like this guy. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay. Uh, pipe baton, shotgun, pistol, or rifle. I think I'm going to invest in sniper rifles as well, since I'm doing perception. I was going to do spears and sniper rifles. So this would make the most sense. So yeah, he well, has an inventory. Look who decided to show their face again. And there are schematics and books you can read. Like if I were to read a lot of these home uh, cooking weekly books, then I would be able to unlock new recipes to cook more food, which gives me more food points because it does track how much food and water uh, that you have. And so same thing with like medical, I can create new uh, kinds of schematics and uh, uh, like first aid kits and stuff, which will heal me a lot more. And so yeah, they have gas as well because they have vehicles, they've got motorcycles and trucks and stuff. And obviously they've got weapons and so they've got like buckshot and bullet tips and explosives as well, time to charge, and pipe bombs and stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy anything right now, because uh, I cannot afford anything right now. Just looking through it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and so they had a big armor. Just get the fuck out of here! Alright, fine, Jesus Christ. Wait, I actually want another job. Alright, here we go. God, so far away. Well, come to think of, I'd say it's been an honor to work with you. Yeah. But it would be a lie. Baited me. Alright, I'm actually gonna open this as well. It's a pipe rifle. Oh! Oh, sick! We've got a pipe rifle now. Okay, that's awesome. Um, yeah, if we go to my skill section. So, yeah, Spear Master is right here. I'd then also be investing in Deadeye eventually. Uh, which is for. Uh, rifles, which is what I want to invest in. So, let me put these next to each other. There we go. Alright, I have to go a long way. I have to go 500 more meters. Um, although we should be okay. Uh, during the day, the zombies can only walk at top speed. Uh, it's night time that you want to watch out for them, because then they can sprint at you. And that can get kind of scary. Uh, although nighttime does not start until uh, 22 hours, uh, they use uh, kind of like military time. Um, so at 22, the zombies will start sprinting and it's nighttime. And then when it hits 4, it'll be 4 a.m. So yeah, when it hits 4 a.m., uh, it'll be daytime again. I'll be able to go to that trader and get some more missions and stuff and uh, uh, The zombies will no longer be sprinting at me, which is always a great thing So yeah, there are a bunch of POIs in this map and there's also a different region. There's I'm currently in the pine forest region. There's a wasteland a desert uh, snow biome, um, and there's like, I think there's like hundreds of POIs, ones that have been individually built. It's super, super cool. I hear a zombie. So yeah, if it was nighttime, uh, this lady would be sprinting at me, but it's not. So this is as fast as you can go. I do a lot more damage with my spear because I've upgraded uh, that skill a lot. So yeah, every time you get a zombie kill, you get XP, um, and every time you upgrade blocks, uh, like when you're building, you'll also get XP. And, uh, those are kind of like the two best ways to level up. 
you know, to get skill points so that you can uh, unlock new skills and stuff uh, is building and uh, uh, doing missions and killing zombies. So yeah, this is only a tier one, which is represented by the little skull at the top. Um, this can go all the way up to... Oh my gosh, I'm lagging. Uh, this can go all the way up to six, um, which can get very crazy. Uh, I've gone down to one FPS for a very long time because of the amount of zombies that have been in here. Okay, hold up, I think we better just... No? My game froze. Oh. This is suspicious. Although it is a tier one, I don't think this is going to be very... Bad. All right, so yeah, uh, this is a schematic for uh, vehicle adventures. So if I read enough of these, then I should be able to create, I believe, car parts, and I'll be able to create new vehicles. And you can search a bunch of things here. Uh, I can search the bins. I can search cars. I can also hit all of these things. Like everything here can take damage. Um, get different amounts of resources from it too. Right, let's see. Hello. I hear someone. Alright, let's go. Oh. Alright, got that guy. Get you. One of these times, my game is going to freeze right as I'm trying to attack a zombie, and it's going to unfreeze, I'm going to have half my health. Which is really going to suck. Well, I actually don't want that zombie flesh. I actually also don't want these old sham sandwiches, because they take away your health when you eat them. Um, which is no fun. I do not need that right now. Um, because I'm only level, uh, what level am I? I think I'm only level 5 right now, I have to go to my player here. Oh no, I'm level 4. So yeah, until I get to level 5, I actually have a death XP penalty protection. So I, normally when you die, you would lose your XP, which is represented by this purple bar down here. And, uh... Until I am level 6, I, I will not lose any XP, so I'm not concerned about dying. Uh-oh. Back. And so yeah, for this first episode, we'll be doing a decent amount of explaining of uh, how the game works. But after this first episode, if I end up making more of them, I'll do less explaining. Um, oh, ow. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. Okay. Uh, I need to make a bandage. Fast. I need ten cloth. Alright. Yep, I'm gonna use this. Oh my gosh. Alright, I only lost that much health because I was bleeding. I should really have a bandage just in case. Because sometimes they will hit you and they will do bleeding damage, which will destroy your health as you just saw. Alright, so I have enough to make another one. Which is good. In the beginning, I'm just going to be taking as much as I can and storing it. Except for rotting flesh. I think you only need that for farming, but I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. Um, so we won't be collecting that. So I have to find some supplies that are here. Please, who installed these lights? Awful, honestly. Ooh, there's a basement. That's daunting. Let me pick up the keys. Hello? Well, that's weird. I'm trying to pick it up, but it's not like me. Also, there is something up here. I want to get that. Oh, this is annoying. You know what? I'm just going to build up. I have freedom. 
There we go. Oh, this is the this is the supplies right here. We needed to go here. Yes. All right. Now technically the mission's over. However, each POY should have like loot at the very end of it, and each POY also has like a path that you need to follow. Currently, the path is leading me down here. There should be zombies around here somewhere. Fortunately. Oh my gosh. I'm lagging, I'm taking damage. Oh, my stamina. Oh no. Alright, you know what? Let's test this thing out. Oh, and I need to reload. That is a very slow reload. Yeah, it's gonna be a one shot. This thing does crazy damage. Uh, which is why I like it. Eventually you can get actual sniper rifles that you can just spam the trigger and there are cool upgrades that you can get with your skills where if I think it's if you every time you kill a zombie you'll get like 50% damage bonuses oh, yeah. I hear you where are you I should also really make a first aid kit at some point oh, oh my gosh <laughs> I think that the final room is up here. Ah, handgun parts. And enough of those, I can make a handgun. I think this is it right here. Yep, this is the end room, I believe, right here. Okay, I'm just gonna close that door. I don't know where that zombie is. I hear him hitting it though. So read that. I read that. Art of Might. Oh, okay, so these are actual schematics. Volume 2. Diamond tools. I can craft diamond tip blade mods, which dramatically increase the durability. That's great. Ah, first it I'm going to use that. Should increase my health. These things, I need to actually hit them to open it up. Because I can stiff tools. Well, that's not really useful, is it? I already have that. Let's uh, take those things. Zombie is very annoying. Right. Oh, he's right there. Right there. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna head back now. Let's see, now can I open this? Maybe I could always open it, I was just missing. I'm not sure. Ooh. I asked him. Alright, time to go back. So yeah, some POIs, um, like this one, I think it said it was called the Washington Residence. If they don't have a skull, then I don't think they'll have any endgame loot, but if they do, then you should be able to go into that POI, go through it, even when you're not on a mission, and find some end loot. Like this building right here. I'd have to start off going down there, then I'd work my way through, and there should be some cool end loot in there. And so I can do that with pretty much every POI uh, that has a skull. Um, however, I'm not going to do that one because that's a level 2. And I am definitely still in the level 1 area right now. Uh, one of the big changes that they made was they slowed the progression dramatically. Uh, so you'll be finding a lot less good loot. 
and you'll be getting a lot less good loot uh, as rewards. Uh, and they did that on purpose so that it takes just a lot longer to progress through the uh, beginning of the game. Um, hello. How you doing? Jump. Um, before you could also find uh, tier, I believe, six weapons in the loot. Uh, I believe tier six is the max level you can have. Uh, like, this is gray, this is level one, and then I believe level two is green, level three is blue, um, and then I think it goes all the way up to purple. Maybe level five is actually the max level, I'm not really sure. Um, but you used to be able to find the max level in loot. However, they've changed it so that you can only craft it now, and in order to craft it, you need something called legendary parts. Kind of like how I found these handgun parts, you need the legendary gun parts for that. And apparently finding those are very, very rare. Um, so getting those uh, tier 5 or 6 weapons, whatever the max tier is, is going to be a lot more difficult now. If you break it, you buy Now that you did the job, I so guess agitated. you ain't that damn bad after all. <sighs> I don't like this guy. Um... These two are useless, because I'm not using either of those weapons. So I'd either get this, or th this. Um, you know, I want to get some ammo for, Actually, I have 13 shots. She has 13 zombie kills. I think I should be fine. I'm going to get that for now. Alright, let's do another job. You're going to do which one is closest? Is this one? So clears. I got eyes. some shit work for a fuck up like you. Good luck. You better not make me regret this. Oh my god, I hate him. We used to have a guy called I think his name was Trader Bob, and he was the nicest person ever. And he used to be in this area in the uh, pine forest, but he got moved to the wasteland, which is where that asshole used to be. He deserves to be in the wasteland. That guy is so mean. I miss Trader Bob. Um, but yeah, each biome also has its own difficulty. Like, this is the easiest one. Uh, in the top right corner where it says Pine Forest, it doesn't even have a skull. Because it's uh, supposed to be the easiest biome. But if you go into like the wasteland, then I think that it's two or three skulls that will appear. Because the enemies that are in the area... The environment is just a lot more difficult. Um, so yeah, this is my home. Uh, for now, it's a uh, it's a work in progress. Um, but I'm just dropping off just stuff that I don't need because uh, you can get encumbered, which means that you're holding too much stuff. And uh, I need to be able to move around. Let's see. All right. Read all of those. Level up. Locked spears don't call me. Two. Oh, hello. Okay. Um. Stone spear. Ah, I can craft a level two one now because I read enough of those magazines. I get a better spear now. So it's level two. Let's get rid of that garbage. I got a level two, baby. Let's go. Alright, I think that's everything that we need for now. Let me get rid of that bow as well. Oh yeah, they also added in challenges too. What button is that? Or is it I? No. I don't know. That's my friend right there. He also plays on the server. Uh under quest? No. So, ah, there we go. Challenges. So yeah. They've added in a bunch of challenges. Oh, I see. This need. Yeah, I redeem it. And you just get XP, which helps you level up. And it looks like I'm about to level up. So maybe after I redeem all of this, I'll be able to. There we go. Level 5. And I got a skill point. Um, I'm going to go into perception again. I can level this guy up for 1 point. 40% more damage. Let's go. Alright, so we are making moves. Let's redeem these. Damn. 
500 XP. Oh my goodness, 2,000. What was this? Oh, it's to complete a quest. All right. Yeah, look at that. I'm already like 25% of the way there. Almost a third, actually. All right. Let's go that way. 400 meters. Oh. So yeah, in uh, the agility skill uh, tab, you can upgrade uh, skills so that you can jump higher, so that you can move faster, so that you can have more stamina and run for longer, so that you can, uh, when you're like zoomed in, like you can't sprint and zoom in at the same time, but there are skills that allow you to do that. And uh, we will upgrade those in time. It's, from what I've heard, it's best to invest in just a couple, like one or two skill paths in the beginning, and then as you level up and get a bit more powerful, then it's good to branch out a bit more. So I'm focusing uh, on spears for the moment, and uh, I'm also focusing a bit on getting better trader rewards, because uh, as you do better quests, like tier 4 or tier 5 quests, you'll get really good rewards. And um, there's a perk that allows you to pick two perks, or two rewards, uh, from that trader guy. I recognize this place, I've been here before. Now technically I could go all the way through this place, get the end loot, and come all the way back out and start it over again, and it would all respawn, and I'd be able to get the loot twice. Uh, however, I don't have time for that. So yeah, there's the end loot right there, and I have to get over there somehow. Where's it? I think he falls from the ceiling. I can't remember where though. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm tripping. Nah, he's behind there, I think. Hello? Yeah, there you go. So that's a normal attack, and if I right click. Oh my gosh. Power attack. Jesus. I'm hoping I can get a bandage soon. Um. Hello? Power attacking takes up a lot more stamina, but it obviously does a lot more damage too. And the spear uh, hits slow enough that I usually like to only power attack. <laughs> These guys are all easy. Uh, there are zombies that are called feral zombies. They have yellow eyes, a lot more health. They move faster, they do more damage, and they are awful. And then, worse than those, there are also radioactive zombies. They are all green. And... Hold up, let's see. Oh, wait, that's not gonna matter. Oh, they hit me. Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? Let's... I put away my rifle ammo. Okay, I guess I'm not using my rifle. <laughs> I did not realize I did that. That was, uh... Silly of me to do. So I could just walk through it. Should be able to go up. There's definitely some more zombies. They're so loud. Yeah, I seem to lag whenever I get up. 
Yeah. It used to be worse too when my uh, settings were all fairly high. Jump. Ugh. All right, let's see what I got. Iron crossbow table. Oh, I hope I get a bandage. I did not. Although, aloe cream, I think I can make. Oh, I don't have it unlocked. I need three more medical books to unlock that. So I can make that. Oh, pipe bomb. An insulated liner mod. That's cold resistance. That's cool. And then I should be able to hit this. And looks like electronics, so I'll probably get some like car parts and a car schematic so I can start getting closer to building those. Yeah, wiring. And I got a battery and some mechanical parts. Ooh. I should be able to just I think jump over this. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Easy. Ooh, glue. Alright, glue's nice as well because you can use it to make duct tape. And you need duct tape for a lot of uh a lot of things. And most importantly, uh repair kits. Because you use last I checked at least, I'm not sure if they changed this, but uh last I checked you use repair kits to repair your weapons and stuff. Uh so like with this, I think you would need to use a repair kit to repair it. Which, to make the repair kit, I think you need some duct tape and some iron, uh, ingots, I believe? Um, which you need a forge to make, because there are also forges and stuff. This game is, uh, very well thought out. Drink some water. Eat. Whatever that was. Not sure. Might have been dog food. It's kind of nasty, but uh, it is the apocalypse, so move. Here we are. I'm still hungry after that. My goodness. Well, you pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Wait. Find more food and loot. Okay, that's really good. Oh, but also cobblestone is really good as well. Uh, when you're upgrading blocks to improve their durability, there's tiers for that as well. So there's the regular placement block and then you can upgrade that to a like a fully wooden block and then you would use cobblestone rocks to upgrade to a cobblestone rock then concrete to a concrete block and all of that um however i'm not ready to do that yet i'm gonna go with this because these are specific books that you have here i'll show you select that and First of all, oh, wait, I've already read it? Hold on. Hold on a sec. Yeah, if I go to here, to these books, we'll keep looter. Got more food and loot. Oh my gosh, I've already had it. I've already read it. But yeah, if I, this is like a series of books. And so if I unlock all of them, then I get a special I believe a uh, special like oh yeah I saw it there yeah gain 20% more or my oh no that's for the art of mining lucky looter it's enemies have higher chance to drop loot because yeah if you kill zombies sometimes they drop loot bags but uh, I don't need to read this that would be a waste so I can either sell it back to him or I can try and hide it uh, because I'm afraid my friends might try and just take it. Maybe I can sell it to them. I could trade it for something if I need some parts or something. I'm gonna keep that for now. I don't need to read it. 
see if you have any jobs. Closest one is. I'm going to make you an offer. You can't say I'm not surprised. <laughs> Good luck, kid. He's so condescending. Uh, I'm going to drop this stuff off at my house really quick. going to do this last mission and then that'll probably be it for this episode um i've got some stuff to do irl and so i not play for too too long keep that in there actually i think i might move that um you can actually hit into these like this is locked but you can just use an axe and it has a certain amount of health and you can break into it if you break it so i'm going that as well pretty quickly this is a little trick you can mine into the ground using a shovel which unfortunately takes ages but if you go too deep then we can place a wooden storage right gonna make that Place it down at the bottom. I'm gonna lock it just in case. It won't really matter though if they find it. I'm gonna put that stuff in there. And then I should be able to make s topsoil. And the special thing about topsoil is that it blends in with the area around it. Oh wait, can I place it there? Oh, I can. Alright, so now it looks exactly like the blocks around it. It doesn't really look suspicious. So they wouldn't think to mine down there and get my stuff. So that should be good. I don't really think I have anything important. I do want these. <laughs> I'm gonna need these. Um, but yeah, now let's go and get this mission done really quick because I do have to get off soon. Also, supply drops too. A uh, a plane will fly overhead, and then somewhere on the map, uh, a supply drop will land on the ground, and you can go to it and get some pretty cool loot. Um, it's usually really good, and it only comes every couple days. Um, I think that as you progress through the game, the loot might actually get better. I'm not exactly sure. Oh yeah, this is my friend's house. Okay, yeah, he's been playing way too much. Uh, he's already upgraded to concrete. Oh my gosh, didn't even realize. So yeah, that's cobblestone. Then the next level is concrete. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is like an upgraded thing. Alright, I'm not gonna take it. Because you'll probably know. And you'll probably blame me. And, uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. Oh wow, he's at a little window. Of course, everything's locked. Oh yeah, it's got a forge and a workbench, so you can craft more things. You can also make... Yep, these this forged iron here. So you need those to make repair kits. Looks like he's kind of doing like a tower type design. He's probably going to go straight up, because zombies can come from up there. In fact, I'm going to go up this way. Alright. Sir, please back up. Stranger danger. Um, oh, it's already been looted. If you loot mailboxes, you'll get more of those books and those schematics. Um, but I'm sure my friend has already scavenged this whole area. Because he has been, he's played quite a number of hours, uh, already. 
And this is probably my like second hour playing or something, and two of my other friends have not even started playing, because normally there's four of us. Uh, but once I get back to school, um, we'll be on a lot more together. Alright, so this is the area. Hello? Alright, let's take care of you. I don't want you joining in on these enemies that are going to attack me. A lot more are going to attack me this time. I do this mission. So I'm gonna set up my little little block. I do this ahead of time because sometimes you get overwhelmed and you can't go very far away from this area. Oh wait, is it gonna delete those blocks? Oh no, what? Okay, nice. Um. So yeah, the circle is a bit bigger this time. staircase for myself because once I eventually do find the, uh, the loot, I'm going to want to be able to get out quickly. I've made the mistake before where I'm just stuck in a hole because I dug straight down like a dummy, and uh, zombies have uh, piled on top of me. And that is a, uh, it's not a fun time, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. Not very good for business or for your health. Alright, now if I mine enough, then this circle should shrink, and it'll keep on shrinking the more I mine. Um, and it should help me get closer to it. Oh, my stamina's getting low too. Take a little food break. Hopefully that'll help my stamina go up. That's the little sound, which means that the circle is smaller. Not very much smaller, but... See, so over the entire world, you can dig underground, and then that's stone right there. And then you can dig even farther underground. And it's kind of like Minecraft, and the fact that, uh... There are, like, layers, and then I think that there's also bedrock. Like, there's a limit to how low you can go. Um pretty cool because you get materials from it and then you can make bases underground uh, that's what me and my friends sometimes do whenever we're trying to survive a horde night uh, at least early on we'll make a big tunnel through the ground and set up trap doors and the zombies will pile up behind those trap doors and we'll attack them from behind them and stay safe for the most part taking a while. Where is this thing? Sometimes you can get lucky and you'll get it first try digging down, but uh, not always. So I'm still getting hungry. Oh, my stamina is going down or up. I need to eat some of these. Will my health go up too? I think I'm basically, yeah, I'm at max health again, which is good. That's the edge of the circle, so I know that we're not going that way anymore. Alright, the circle just got smaller, so it looks like we need to go in this direction again. Gather clay. Huh, guess I got another challenge done. That's nice. Ah! Aha! Alright, so that, once I loot that, the zombies are going to spawn, so I'm just going to make sure I have a path to get up. Yep, right through there. 
That's a food stash as well. That's great. Get all this food from it. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of milestones. Uh oh, my stamina is so low. Come on, man. Why is my stamina so low? Wait, what's that thing? Am I not able to jump? I'm not sure what that means. Why am I not able to jump? Oh, it's because I'm crouched. I didn't even realize. Damn. Aw. Oh, he jumped up? <laughs> Just climbed on each other. That's crazy. What is that little... Red thing? I really shouldn't be wasting these if I can help it. What's this? Yeah, I like the spear because you can keep your distance and you don't need to get rid of the to a zombie. Alright, made to level 6. What is... Yeah, show me my quest limit. Oh, I see. Daily quest progression limit has been reached. You may continue to take complete quests. Not count towards your quest to your progression. Yes, okay. So, uh, quests uh, are also used as like an overall progression system. And after you get, I think it's around five quests done, you'll unlock something, like a big reward. Uh, and I think the first one that you're always going to want to get is a bicycle, because it's your best mode of transportation. You're able to go a lot farther, a lot faster, using less stamina. Uh, just like in real life with a bicycle. Um, and it is something that I will be using all the time to travel. Uh, so getting that is going to be a big priority for me. So I need to get these quests done in order to unlock it. Let's go and turn this in. It's 1540. It is almost nighttime now. Uh, not really, actually. <laughs> It's only, uh, what time would it be? 3.40, 3pm, I think. So, still got a while, but, uh, let's see, it's loaded, which is good. Kind of scale mountain straight up like that. The jumping does kill your stamina a lot. You can take fall damage, so I do need to be careful. Um, and this game is also realis realistic in the fact that if you fall too high, you will get a sprain or even worse, break your leg. And the only way to fix those is uh, with a sprain by uh, not running or jumping. So I'd have to walk just like this for, I think, 10 minutes <laughs> in order to heal that up. And I wouldn't be able to jump. And I think getting hit may also uh, stall the progress and send it back up to 10 minutes. It's even worse with a broken leg foot or leg, I believe. Let's go er, now that you did the job, I guess you ain't Are that damn eight, bad after so all. Okay. Get that. Vegetable stew is great for health, but I honestly don't need between these two right now. Wait, what's the big headers? Equip oh, well, I'm not even going to be using clubs, so that's useless as well as yes. Yeah, between these two. And I think just because I'll be able to find these crafting skill magazines out in the... out all over the place, and it's also going to give me random ones, I'd rather get this because I can add armor plates to... Uh... Well, actually, I don't even need to... Now, I'm gonna find a bunch of those in the wild too. They're all over the place in like buildings and in loot. I'm gonna go with this. That'll definitely be my best one. Um, so yeah, I can do jobs, but they won't help me in terms of progression towards uh, unlocking that bicycle. Ah, four out of 75. I can't craft those bandages yet. 
Alright, let's head back to my house. Oh, marked explosives. Pipe. Oh, and it looks a uh, better spear as well. Alright, perfect. Great progress today. Alright, this is going to be it though for uh, this episode, but I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you enjoy, leave a like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you later. Bye-bye.